Absolutely. Good morning. The government have got these crazy new regulations in, in a bill going through Parliament, as, as you guys well know, at the moment that would seek to tell shopkeepers where they can and can't put a chocolate orange on the shelves, that they can't put on uh, buy one, get one free offers on foods that the government has decided are bad for this. And first and foremost, that's just not a conservative approach. We need to trust people to buy what they want for themselves and their families. But secondly, as you've just said, with food prices going up, with fuel prices going up, energy prices going up, it's just not a fair thing to be doing right now to take those, those options away from families doing the weekly shop. Greg, I mean, I, I, I hate this kind of nanny state stuff. What, what chances do you think there are of a government U-turn on this? I know that you're organising a, a letter from colleagues to the Prime Minister to try and urge him to change his mind. What, what, what sense do you get of the chances of the government making a change here? I, I think we've got to hope that the chances are very good at the moment, even if it's just through the lens of rising food prices. Uh, I've spoken to the Prime Minister about this, as well as the Health Secretary, the Culture Secretary, because remember, this has a big impact on broadcasters and advertising as well. And I think there is an appetite to do something a little bit more sensible. Nobody's disputing that obesity in the United Kingdom is, is a problem. But the way you solve that isn't by nannying, isn't by telling people what they should and shouldn't do, but by enabling people to make educated, informed choices for themselves, what's right for them, what's right for their children, what's right for their families. And hopefully we can win this argument at this uh, late hour as the legislation goes to the House of Lords and convince the government that we've got to think again.